Assalamu alaikum to everyone that is watching this video. Right now, I'm on top of Arafat. I can see everywhere. You can see the mountains all over the place. I'm going to give you two Quranic verses and the biblical verse to prove that Islam is a religion that Allah has meant for everybody on the face of the earth. You know, the Quran said, وَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ مُسَدِّكًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَمُحَيِّمِنًا عَلَيْهِ We send down the book to you, O Muhammad, in truth, confirming the other books that came before you. Allah also said, أَلَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابِ يَعَرُفُونَهُ كَمَا يَعَرُفُونَ أَبْنَاءَهُمْ Those whom the book was given, they know you and they know Islam very well, like they know themselves. This ritual of Hajj that we are undertaking, it is also mentioned in the Bible, the Old and the New Testament. Where do we begin? As I give you a few verses that prove the truth of Islam. I'm, like I said, I'm in Mecca, uh, in Arafah. You could see the mountains. Did you see the mountains? Did you see the mountains? Okay, now listen to what God Almighty have said pertaining the mountains and the revelation that is supposed to come in the mountain. We read in the book of Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 where it says in the end of the days, in other words towards the end of time, there will be a house of the Lord built on top of the mountain and this house of prayer of the Lord will be famous and superior than any other place of worship and the people all over the world will flow into it they flow into it and worship there now as you can see uh, the whole Makkah and Arafah and Mina all of these places were built on the mountains and the Bible said the house of the uh, of the law that will be on the mountain will be greater and more famous than any other place of worship. Now I want you to tell me in earnest which house that was built on the rock says the Bible that is more famous and people all over the world will flow into it. That is exactly what you see when you come to Mina, when you come to Hajj, you see people flowing. They keep flowing people flowing all over the place and so this is what the Bible is saying and then we also read somewhere in the Bible the book of uh, Psalms of David chapter 84 verse 6 this is what it says David 84 84 6 it says uh, God Almighty is speaking he said blessed is the man in whose heart is yearning for the pilgrimage he who went to the valley of Becca and he drink the water that came from the spring the valley of Becca you know Mecca is a valley the Quran mentioned Me uh, Becca once the Bible also mentioned Becca once the Quran said Inna'awwalabayt the first house established to be worshipped is the one that is in Becca for the whole of mankind the Bible also said the valley of Becca. Valley means mountains surrounded, you know, a nation, I mean, or a city surrounded by mountain. That is, you know, uh, uh, a valley. And Mecca, Mina, all of Madrid, they are all valleys. That is the only place of worship that is a valley. We read also in the book of uh, Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it reads, and we read, and it says, John had a dream. And in the dream, John revealed, it was revealed to John, that uh, John said, and I saw men and women from different nations, speaking different languages, with different colors from all over the world, and all of them were wearing white robe, like the one that I'm on now, white robe, everybody. This year, we have over three, close to four million people all over the world, wearing white robe, and the best continue. And some were bowing down, some were prostrating, and some were saying, Salvation unto thee, O Lord, blessed art thou, O Lord. And the angel said, Where do they come from? And he said, 
they came from different parts of the world seeking God Almighty's mercy and protection. And the Lord said, they will not leave here until I've given them what they come looking for. This clearly proves that the Quran is the word of Allah. And that the Hajj that we do is also found in the Bible. It is so unbelievable that most people read the Bible, but they don't understand the implication of what the Quran have said. All the messengers, they did perform Hajj. So this ritual of Hajj was actually, you know, established by Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Tomorrow we're going to be going back to Mecca. Right now we are in Arafah, you know, where we are still standing and praying and hoping that Allah will give will forgive because Allah said once you are on the top of the mountain forgiveness is yours you would be as if you've just been born by your mother so definitely inshallah whosoever is in uh, Arafat definitely Allah will uh, accept his prayer do you see the people most of them are praying in their tent because it's too hard because all this sanctuary is part of the is part of the haram inshallah so I'm going to leave you here. If there is any need that I'm going to do second portion of this verse, I'm going to do it again. Uh, make dua for me as I make dua for you. And I hope that all the Muslims all over the world, Allah will receive you and make it easy for you. All the prayers that you have, Allah will, you know, answer your prayers, inshallah. Hazar billahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.